hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to Firefly here on the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So, uh, the first two episodes down, decided I was already hooked, uh, especially when Captain Malcolm faked Kaylee's death, like, lied to the doctor, and so the doctor ran, and Kaylee was like, hi, Kaylee so far is probably my favorite, but I'm loving learning everybody's backstories. Uh, finally had a little bit of insight into River, um, there's so many things in this show to keep up with. Each episode, at least episode one and two, had their own adventure with this overarching thing, which is River and, like, what the Alliance has been up to. You know, I really love the concept of this show, so I'm really excited to keep going. I don't feel like I have to say anything else about it, actually, so no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's episodes of Firefly, which is three and four. gun would help you keep it a captain's goal was simple do we have the same intro like recap for every episode that was the same exact one for episode two okay some futuristic basketball i love all her dresses by the way i can't really tell they don't seem to be playing by any civilized rules that i know <laughs> Okay, that does look like a fun game. They selflessly turned us both into wanted fugitives. No, you tried to protect your sister. What can it be? We're all doomed. Who's flying this thing? <laughs> all right, that would be you. A back to work. Yeah, maybe you should go check on that. Little Kaylee's always one man short. Get the doctor! Hey, Doc, why don't you come on down? Get the doctor and get on his shoulders, if you know what I'm saying. Ah, oh, shit! Scared me. Is it just space junk or what? When are you gonna start becoming a help instead of just an ornament in the ship? I feel like this intro goes by so fast, like with the quick flashes of, of episodes, you know? It's a lot happening. You can see she don't wanna be parked like that. But... She ain't really parked if she's just doing a barrel roll. They serve well enough for a one-way push to the outer planets. Hey, whatever works, works. Whatever gets you away from the Alliance. Then he decided to take a swim, see how fast his blood would boil out his ears. What are you talking about? Shouldn't we report this? To who? We are thieves and pirates. No, we're not going to alert them. There's no beacon. Which means it's likely no one's looking to find her. Does it mean the beacon went out already? Shall I remind you of the story of the Good Samaritan? I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> Could be survivors. If not, well then. Could be some good loot on board. I would make a great space pirate. Okay, okay, that connection was pretty easy. Where do you think you're headed? The doctor. Just in case people need help on board. Something wrong? Hmm? Oh, no. no. Why is he being weird about the spacesuits? That's what space trash does, you know, kind of latches on the first big something. This guy is scary. That'd be a bit like... You and your sister, wouldn't it? They're not space trash. Entering and joining your lock now. This is giving alien isolation vibes. A tricycle and a ball. Are we gonna see dead kids? A red balloon? Is Pennywise on board? Whatever happened here happened quick. The jump scare that's gonna happen is absolutely gonna make me shit myself, ain't it? Ship powered down on its own. No sign of a struggle. So what happened? Personal log. Someone was in the middle of an entry. Oh, tell me, tell me, tell me, read it. <laughs> Good gracious bad dreams again i need more information from her kid let's hoof it now wants us both over there on a the double are there people there to find and save they found survivors didn't say oh well there we go i'll meet you over there but don't take forever still gotta get suited up why do i feel like the big guy not the doctor but the big guy i don't know i can't remember what his name is 
Why do I feel like he's gonna turn on everybody and he's gonna be a liability? Oh yeah, Doctor's never done anything like this before. Oh, I like how we were the doctor for a second. That was cool. What are you doing here and what's with the suit? <laughs> He's so messed up, damn it. As you hear, may as well lend a hand. You can run with Kaylee. They have the most twisted sense of humor, and I love it. You um had this on wrong. You didn't know. Don't don't let them make you feel bad. I count 16 families signed on. 16 families? Somewhere Deck aft. Oh, so way down below, where things are probably extra scary. River? Tanara. Oh god, River's gonna be missing, isn't she? Are you hungry, sweetie? What'd I tell you? What'd I tell you? She's got a wide gap between her first and second toe! That's a big gap! Why would anybody abandon their ship in the middle of nowhere like this? I'm sure we'll learn as we continue exploring. There ain't nothing wrong with this. Oh, well, I mean, that doesn't look normal. The doctor clearly needs to work out a little bit. Listen, that would be me. I'm not good at fixing stuff or driving stuff or even really shooting, but you need somebody to go out and hunt and gather. I'm your girl. I'm gonna say it again. I don't know what scary thing is gonna happen in this episode, but I am clearly not ready. They didn't take their, like, items or anything. Everything a grown family needs to make a fresh start on a new world. Why didn't they take it? You'd think those who escaped would find room for some of this. True. So what happened? Oh, hey, River! What in the actual... Mother fuck is that? I know what did this. Get her out of well, here. Well, tell me. Because I'm freaking out. I want you to take Kaylee and the doctor off this boat. Don't ask questions. Ah! Cannibals? We heard shooting. River. What are you. Follow the voices. I was going to say, doctor, we don't know either. What the chit chat is going on in there? Not now, dear. You need to have clear communication, number one, with your husband, but also the driver of the ship. Oh, hey, hey, you're still alive. That's good. Came at me from behind. Big, though. It was another person. Well, we have to follow the blood trail. Not them hiding in vents like aliens. Stop. Any more than we already did. Oh, mercy. Oh, we got lots of mercy. Tell me what you're doing. <laughs> meet mercy, meet grace. <laughs> oh, yes. He's a real beast. That's what I said. It's a wonder you're still alive. <laughs> you must be real brave to survive like that with nobody else. Okay, so he's just a normal person. Real hero killing all them people. But did he? You don't know that. They were all weak. The people on the ship with you? Cattle for the slaughter. Other people? Open up. See what's inside. What? I'm freaking out. I'm wigging out. So, how's our patient? Crazy. Not a very charitable attitude, Captain. Charity be putting a bullet in this brain pan. So what's causing it? You said you know. The ship was hit by Reavers. Really? Mal, how can you know? He don't. That's how. No way. What's your explanation then, douchebag? Just a second ago, you said that we- Don't matter what I said. Good for you, Kaylee. This place he's gonna live from now on. I don't accept that. I uh, know, can you explain? It's a barbarism, it was done by men. Nothing more. Reavers ain't men. I was gonna say, that didn't look like the work of a man. A power that heals. Hallelujah. If they had a philosophy, and they weren't too busy gnawing on your insides. Cannibals. But they're not human. I don't know. Or shouldn't we be gone? Work ain't done. Still substantial money value sitting over there. You're gonna go back on the ship? Jane, you'll scare the women. I'll go. You're a woman, though. I've dealt with bodies. They don't worry me. I'd like to go with him. Maybe she
The two most unexperienced people? No. Part of what makes us different than those did the slaughtering. <sighs> I wish there wasn't a preacher on board. <laughs> We're sitting put for a funeral? Yeah, That's sure. what I'm saying. Not exactly. But on the off chance there is, these folks deserve a little of it. Oh, look, she she's like, yes, that's why I love you, Daddy. Just when I think I've got you figured out. See? See? She loves him. But I figured it'll keep the others busy for a while. No reason to concern them. Ah, distract them with that fluffy stuff while we go do the hard stuff. I don't know. Sit tight until... What? Reavers come back? We get taken over. We could probably bypass that easy. We get to the DC line. You can disarm it? Do you really think you can do this? Sure. Yeah. Get to it, girl. Besides, if I mess up, it's not like you'll be able to yell at me. That is so dark, but hilarious. Okay, so they're wearing masks and these dead by well, the preacher's not, so that's interesting. But, um, so do they infect them with something? Now, if everybody's busy, who's looking at this guy? Is he gonna turn into something? I'm so, this episode has me big stressed. We got too many things going on in this episode. I'm scared for everyone right now. Well, it's go time, I reckon. She did it, she did it, she did it. Good job, Kaylee. Right at this particular moment, I have to say, not a thing. Right. Okay, but go check on your little patient. Everyone's home, Wash. Let's go. But where is your patient? By class transport, you are ordered to release control of your helm. <gasps> alliance! It's not Reavers, it's Alliance! Put all, put all crazy ass on, on the Alliance ship. Let that do what it, that's gonna do. <laughs> They're due to touch down in Newhall three weeks ago. And they clearly didn't. Sir, didn't we have a flag and a firefly a while back? Check. Are they about to crash? That's what it looked like, didn't it? It's believed to be carrying two fugitives, a brother and sister. What are oh, they? I forgot. Into these two, we shoot first. But they look like normal people, so like they won't be able to tell the difference. I hope. I hope. Why for? I got no notion to argue this in about two I was gonna say, he's always arguing. He's too much of a liability. I don't like him. Stack everything right here, in plain sight. We don't want it to seem like we got anything to hide. Ah, it's one of those things, total transparency. You flood them with everything, then they'll be distracted. So you could use us as bargaining chips? No, stop being sensitive. I mean, that's a big old ship. <laughs> the pilot, I forgot. That would be me. Quite a lot of fuss. I didn't know better. I think we were dangerous. Oh, of course they're taking guns. I mean, it makes sense. You're gonna find a fellow we rescued off that derelict. Saved him, I guess you could say. I hope he attacks. And these items, I take it you rescued them as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, but now it's gonna make him look like a liar because dude's gone. <laughs> Looks to me like an illegal salvage operation. Why was he laughing in the corner? No children on this boat. I didn't say children. Oh, he tried to deflect. These older model fireflies tend to have those troublesome little nooks. Do they? Wow. What a douche. We will continue this conversation in a more official capacity. Oh, we get arrested. <gasps> what did they see in the med bay? Did you hear what that purple belly called serenity? Shut up. Kaylee's more worried about what they think of her ship. And you were based for years on Xenon. It's only in the last year that you've been Xenon? Shooting. Wasn't that a fake planet mentioned in like a Disney movie or something, I think? Having a companion on board opens certain doors that might otherwise be closed to him. Like her legs! I'm sorry. Captain was looking for a pilot. I found a husband. Seemed to work out. Good for Zoe. Fought with a lot of people in the war. And your husband. Fight with him sometimes, too. <laughs> I'm scared of Zoe. She's such a badass. Her legs and right where her legs meet her back. Her ass? Her ass? 
Just so as you don't end up pumping it through the main Atmo feed and asphyxiating the entire crew. I know what all of those words mean. Have you ever been with a warrior woman? No, tell me more. I hate this guy. I hate him. Just about the same time that you shipped out with Serenity. Yeah, Mr. Preacher Man, how are you gonna lie your way out of this one without God knowing? Do you really have to move every single chair to check under that table? You should be able to just crouch down and see. Not checking under the placemats, please. They are hiding outside of the ship. I am so scared. I was scared about them finding them and now I'm just scared for their overall safety and well-being. Oh, she's having a great time. She's never seen this. She's loving it. And that would be me. I could not look at the vastness of space. I would have a full-blown panic attack. That ship is evidence. I'm not in the habit of destroying evidence. Evidence, oh, for figuring out why that happened. Got it. A tendency to inspire that quality in people. Mm. War's over. For some, the war will never be over. Oh. And some say that after Serenity, the brown coats were through. Oh, the drama. He knows his historic war facts. Still not convinced it was a wrong one. That talk right there, that'll put you in jail. Only those weren't soldiers you murdered. They were civilians. He, they didn't do that. Only I'm not sure he'll be able to speak with his tongue split down the middle. What? You and your crew are bound by law. Formal charges will be transmitted to central authority. What happened? I have so many questions about this guy and I'm scared. I'm scared to find out the answers. Oh. Holy crap! Men in my position hear that excuse. Reavers did it. I need to know what Reavers are, damn it. Kind of darkness you can't even imagine. Maybe I don't want to know what a Reaver is. Let's have two MPs up here to escort Sergeant Reynolds to the brig. So he thinks Captain is crazy. Meanwhile, old buddy in the infirmary killing his crew. The proceeds of the sale will be applied to the cost of your defense. Wow. You won't find him. I know where he'll go. Tell me what we're dealing with. I am scared. How many more men you feel like losing today, Commander? Mm, good question. We let him go first. Well, that's that wasn't what we wanted to do there. <laughs> and you got to give him a gun. You got to give him a gun so he can protect himself. Thanks. Now I'll really have the advantage. He handcuffed him in front of in front of his body. That doesn't help anything. Where is he? Where is he? Someone's coming. Yeah, that's what she's been trying to tell you. I tell you what, I am gnawing the shit out of my lip. I'm so anxious right now. Oh, and now he knows that they're on the ship somewhere, which an extra layer of confusion. <laughs> Oh, well, that was, that was lucky. Glad the psycho showed up. What in the hell, Razor, is this shit? All of that was too close. But it looks like they're getting to leave. So I guess it all works out. And they're blowing up the ship. Well, that's good, but I still don't understand the Reavers thing. Like, they're clearly crazy, but, like, they wore masks, so is it... So, uh, and it's over, okay. Um. Well, let's talk about it. Okay, so... Reavers are not just space, like, pirates that just kill people and steal their things. They are clearly not humans. I thought maybe Reavers... Like I just said, space pirates, you know, scary bad guys who just want to take things instead of like finding abandoned things like these people do, you know? But, uh, okay, so they got a split tongue. So are they, are they aliens? Like reptilian aliens, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But that whole episode, I was stressed the entire time. So glad to see that Alliance let us go. They took our cargo, but we, we can live with that as long as the Doctor and River are okay and the Reaver is off the ship. So, all right, on to episode four. A few idiots tried to fight it, among them, myself. 
took his genius sister out of some alliance camp, so they're keeping a low profile. Okay, we have a different narrator, like it's the captain, right? But like we have a different intro narration today. How did I say that word? <laughs> what are you eating, drinking? Why is it in a big thing? Don't even need more rations. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That's not normal, pool. <laughs> For ball failure? <laughs> you should see a doctor about that. But I'm. Chance you might want to head back to the ship. No, I'm alright. They do make an attractive little couple, don't they? Took this right off him. <laughs> Found the thief! Good drinker, that one. Oh, he discovered that really quick then, huh? That's why he told you to get back on the ship, girl. Stephanie ain't home. Too many people we need to avoid. <laughs> we sniff the air, we don't kiss the dirt. Wasn't planning on the dirt. That's a good quote. That's just cause I'm going down too quick. Well then do it correctly, pilot. No, no we're good. We're good. Yeah, this is normal, it's fine. And the honor you do me flatters my... My what? honor. He really wants a companion real bad. I had no idea I was arriving in time for the social event of the season. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. There's a certain offer I'm still waiting to hear about. Offer for what? Stand. I'll see you soon, Bobby. Why does he also kind of look like the doctor? Atherton Wing. Yeah, he's a regular, ain't he? Maybe. Mind your business. I suppose he's engaged me for several days. Days? Days? Engaged? He does. Oh, heavens! Heavens! Do all the men there pay for their dates or just young rich ones with stamina? Does it matter? More conversation and somewhat less petty theft and getting hit with pull cues. I love them. The tension? Ugh! I think this is more of a, an evening look. When they just go kiss? When they go kiss? Oh, that's a look. All green? The girls with the clothes. The girls? The clothes, please. Both. I want something with some slink. You want a slinky dress? Yes, she does. Captain, can I have money for a <laughs> slinky dress? <laughs> You're like a sheep walking on its hind legs. <laughs> you don't have to ruin Kaylee's fun, you douche. She's still a woman, and she wants to be feel pretty and cute. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Is she mad or something? Just like a man. Mm. Hello. Captain Reynolds. Oh, this guy. I'm very sorry. Did I give you the impression I was asking? <laughs> so what is it you need? Even got little finger food sandwiches. Ah, oh, what a lovely host. Why me? You have access to ships. You could do it yourself. Too risky to do it yourself. You backed out of a deal last time. Left us hanging. Hurt our feelings. And hurt our wallet. You think you're better than other people? Just the ones I'm better than. <laughs> Course you couldn't buy an invite with a diamond the size of a testicle. That is so descriptive. You want this meeting or not? I can't wait to see this gala that old What's Her Tits is going to. This is going to be fun. William and Lady Cortland. Oh, he's packing heat. Atherton Wing and Inara Sarah. Oh, she looks so pretty. Oh, look at the back of that dress. I love it. It's like Space Bridgerton. I love it. Oh, I just gleeked everywhere. Only half. I must be losing my undefinable allure. <laughs> All of them wish they were in your bed. Oh, well, we're not talking bed. We're talking about being on their arm. There's a difference. I find I admire you more and more. Oh, he's romantic. I love this for her. But she ain't gonna fall for the guy who treats her like a princess. She's gonna fall for the captain that talks to her like she's shit. Not speaking to you, Captain. 
Good for you, girl. <laughs> I hope he makes it up to Kaylee. A life. If you want it. Oh, he wants to, like, marry her for real, for real. You can live here on Persephone as my personal companion. Oh, personal companion. Got it. You're generous, man. That is not a yes. Oh, good point, girl. Atherton, language. What? Piece of gosa? But it is a piece of gosa. I don't even know what that word means. Kaylee? Just special. Oh, God, sir. Well, this is just special, and I'm so happy for Kaylee. I am so invested in her. It's like if that dress met the 1800s and Lolita. Lolita, am I saying that right? That that style. Wow. Shows off your backside. Did you see the chandelier? It's hovering. Sometimes you gotta show off your ass sits. These girls have the most beautiful dresses. Yours is beautiful too. So do I. How about that? Yeah. Ah! Yes, sir, Captain Tight Pants. <laughs> That's crossbreeze. Strawberries. Strawberries. She loves strawberries. That's the buffet table. Well, how can we be sure? <laughs> What if our man is hiding under all those strawberries? And he up, gentlemen. Dishes. Hey, girl, how you doing after that big last adventure? Saw a card. Are they betting on chores here? Do you forced to claim the tall? Uh, uh, River, what are you doing? River, what are you doing? Our food is rationed. That's a nice pile of things I don't have to do. Oh, good job. Oh, it's not betting on chores. It's getting rid of the chores. So are we going to play cards or screw around? Will you let us handle one thing at a time? <sighs> <sighs> they having a little bit of merry time. I like our party better. Oh, wee! Know what happens if you fall asleep now? Jane slits my throat and takes over. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't fall asleep. A hopeless case. I'll read a nice poem at the funeral, something with imagery. <laughs> of course. Good plan. Somewhat less attractive now that she's all corpsified and gross. <laughs> <laughs> Fanny. And this is Destro Cabot and Zell. Those are not real names. Get out of there. Oh, really? What did they have last year? Standards. <gasps> oh, wow. What a bitch. Of course, your daddy tells me it takes the space of a schoolboy's wink to get you out of it again. Oh! Boom! Roasted! Forgive my rudeness. I cannot abide useless people. I love I cannot abide useless people. Me either, guy. It indicates lordhood. Oh, well, good for you. It's doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, her little flirtatious giggle. Don't waste my time. Fella called Badger. But he doesn't represent, he just works with occasionally. And I think calling him that is an insult to the psychotic low life community. <laughs> Almost outshines our girl here. Oh, why is he holding her arm like that? I don't like that. I'm sure you won't mind if I ask Anar the favor of a dance. Well, I guess I learned why he's holding her arm like that, huh? I know it's mine. She's on property! Man, I wish we could bring back this kind of dancing. I love the dancing in Bridgerton, which is just like this. You were staring at me. I saw you as all. Well. You stand out. Cause you're beautiful, girl. Own it. These people like me and I like them. I like Atherton too, by the way. Yeah, why do you care so much? I'm liable to sleep with him myself. And he likes me whether you sleep. <laughs> I could belong here. Call me pretentious, but there is some appeal in that. I could belong here. I could literally be owned here. <laughs> I think she looks adorable. Yeah, but I never said it. Well, now you gotta tell her. You gotta tell her that she looks adorable. Miss Kelly, I wonder if I could request- Wait a minute, let her talk. She's talking. I love this for Kaylee. 
phone now. Watch Whoa. yourself. No need for hands on. You don't own her yet. Which makes her mind tonight. No matter how you dress her up, she's still. Oh, 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 punched him. I mean, the, well, what a mess we've made. Turns out this is my kind of party. Oh, man. <laughs> there has been a challenge. I hope you're prepared, Captain. Is this a normal thing where we're like. With any gentleman here and give you use of a sword. Use of a sword? A duel? Well, I wasn't ready for this. Wing may be a spoiled dandy, but he's an expert swordsman. Oh, well, good. So we're screwed. I'll take on the job. He fights if you refuse. What? A second? In my second. Does this mean we're in business? It means you're in mortal danger. <laughs> you might even give him a fight before he guts you. This guy! Get a load of him! Inara! You gonna let a man talk to you like that, girl? I don't care how much money somebody has paid me. You are not gonna talk to me like you're crazy. It's a real nice party. Kaylee, you still got your dress and you still got to go. Okay, the punching had nothing to do with you. This guy looks it, like if Matthew Lillard had a different life. Do you see it? Oh, this guy. Sword. I think he knows which end to hold. <laughs> Jane. I wouldn't. Why not? Jane does not mess around. Hi. Kaylee, I'm sorry, girlfriend. That sucks. You did manage to push him into saying something else. Made a nice justification for the punch. Yeah, you just made him mad. There's a back door. The desk clerk is on alert. He'll let us out. Really? You're gonna run? I actually thought I was defending your honor, and I never back down from a fight. Good for you, Malcolm. You do all the time. <laughs> He's an expert swordsman, Mal. You had trouble with the pillar. <laughs> I figure you know how, being such an educated woman and all. I mean, she caught it, didn't she? He said not to do anything. I love that she has on her regular clothes again, but like she's still wearing her bow and her fancy makeup. She's having a great day. I say Zoe gets naked. Nope. <laughs> what? What? Oh, River coming out? Oh, cause she could like prove herself as valuable. Yeah, look at me. What's your story, love? Oh, this is not good. Why aren't you talking? She got a secret. No, I'm Sure. Uh... Girl. I got a secret. Don't seem likely I'd tell him to you. Now do it. <laughs> what was that, girl? Sad little king of a sad little hill. She really showed up and showed out right now. Call me if anyone interesting shows up. I like that. <laughs> exactly the kind of diversion we could have used. You're right. Good point. How did I avoid that? Right in the ass. You have to thrust with the point sometimes or, or swing from the elbow. You got to thrust with the tip sometimes. It takes less than a pound of pressure to cut skin. Does it really? They teach you that in Horror Academy? Horror Academy? While well, she's trying to help you save your own life, you dick. You'll lay a man out for implying I'm a whore, but you keep calling me one to my face. I love her! Love her. You don't get along with ordinary criminals either, which is why you are constantly getting in trouble. Tell him about himself. Don't take his offer. Why? Need to get back. Not him being like, don't go with him, after he literally just said that she went to Horror Academy. I love the white glove treatment with his little butler man. This is crazy. A sword fight. <laughs> Lasting longer than I thought and tore his shirt. Good job. Yeah, these things are sharp. Don't get too cocky. Your own ego is going to get you killed, my guy. Yep, see, see, see. What's he doing? I don't fall for that. <laughs> what? Oh! And around the back? 
This isn't going to take long, is it? That was a very cool move, by the way. He's really gonna slice you into multiple pieces. <gasps> I'll stay here. Exclusive to you, just let him live. What? <laughs> Holy shit! What? What? You have to finish it, lad. You have to? You have to finish it. Do it. It makes him a coward. Good, live with it. Having to lie there while the better man refuses to spill your blood. So much more torture. Oh! Well, I'm all right. Oh. Wow. That's crazy. See how I'm not punching him? I think I've grown. <laughs> no companion is going to contract with you ever again. Boom! Suck my dick! You didn't have to wound that man. Yeah, I know. It was just funny. <laughs> We're ready to move on your signal. Oh, I can't wait to watch this. Are you badly hurt? Oh. Is there an option of being goodly hurt? Are we gonna get to see her bedroom? Oh, I can't wait to see how she has it decorated. You know this shit about to be so cute. Some classical music? Ah! It wasn't entirely a disaster. I got stabbed right here. <laughs> I am grateful, you know. Y'all gonna kiss a little bit? Cows? The dude literally needed to move cows? And it's over. Okay. Let's talk about it. I'm just gonna say this, okay? I love Kaylee's character. Let me tell you why. Because she is the engineer on that ship, but she is also bubbly, happy-go-lucky. You know, she went into this ball. You know, I'm I'm so glad that Malcolm bought her that dress after hurting her feelings like he did and then took her to the ball, you know? Um, regardless of whether or not, like, that was just his way to get in, right? It was still a nice gesture. He didn't have to do that. I love that they made Kaylee the engineer, but also just happy-go-lucky. And then we saw her get rejected by the mean girls, right? But then Kaylee fit in having very intelligent conversation with the men in the room. And I just love her character. Really, really, really do. I'm waiting for Malcolm and Inara to confess their love to each other because I'm about sick and tired. I'm only on episode four, so I got like 10 more of these bad boys to go and a movie. But like, I need them to kiss. There's too much tension. How is he gonna be like, I'm gonna save you from your whore life and be like, you went to whore academy. Like, come on now, stop being awful. Also, I, I thought he was gonna get got during that sword fight. I need to realize that they're not gonna kill off the captain, right? Also, I thought cows, I heard the dude in the weird little hat talk about cows. I thought maybe it was gonna be something else. It was, it was actual cows. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with a whole herd of cows on a tiny little ship. I'm really enjoying this so far. Four episodes in, I'm really into this. And I just, I, I'm, you know, I'm not sponsored by Fox. I don't work with Fox, right? I just want to say on behalf of... Bless you. Bless you. Big sneeze for such a little boy. <laughs> Come here. You want to be a part of the review? No. I just want to say on behalf of Fox that um I am so sorry that y'all had to experience these out of order when it aired. I could not imagine. I was told last night on Twitch episode one was actually aired as episode 10. So y what? That makes no sense. So I'm having a great time and I feel so bad for everybody who had to watch this aired out of order. I'm having a great time. I cannot wait for episode five and six. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around because coming up, we got... Falcon Winter Soldier on the way for Fridays. And then Monday, we have Hidden Figures. And then the next Monday, we have Remember the Titans. So I hope you like, subscribe, stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTubeverse. And um, I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye.